This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at atomic structure. We'll start by looking at the location of the subatomic particles in the atom. Protons and neutrons, which are known as nucleons, are located in the nucleus of the atom. So on the left, we have a simple model of an atom. The nucleus of the atom contains protons and neutrons. Electrons are located in energy levels surrounding the nucleus. So in this model, we can see that the electrons are contained in energy levels that surround the nucleus. In this table, we have the subatomic particle, its relative charge, and its relative mass. Protons have a relative charge of plus one and a relative mass of one. Neutrons have no charge and a relative mass of one. And electrons have a relative charge of negative one and a relative mass of approximately one two thousandth the mass of a proton. By looking at these masses, we can see that the nucleus is very dense and contains almost all the mass of the atom. Next, we look at the principal energy levels. So electrons are located in principal energy levels, which are also known as main energy levels. On the left, we can see a diagram of the principal energy levels in an atom. These energy levels are assigned the letter N. The first main energy level, which is N equals one, has the lowest energy and energy increases as the value of N increases. So N equals one is closest to the nucleus and has lowest energy. The energy increases as the value of N increases. So N equals two has higher energy than N equals one and N equals three has higher energy than N equals two and N equals one. Each main energy level can hold a maximum of two n squared electrons. For example, in the n equals two energy level, we have two times two squared equals a maximum of eight electrons. And in n equals three, we have two times three squared, which is a maximum of 18 electrons. Next, we look at sublevels. Each main energy level is split into sublevels. n equals one has one sublevel, which is the one s sublevel. N equals two has two sublevels, that's the 2s and 2p sublevels. N equals three has three sublevels, that's the 3s, the 3p, and the 3d sublevels. And N equals four has four sublevels, the 4s, the 4p, the 4d, and the 4f. On the right, we can see the sublevels arranged in order of energy. So the 1s sublevel, which is closest to the nucleus, has the lowest energy. Energy then increases as the distance from the nucleus also increases. Within a main energy level, the order of energy of the sublevels is S, P, D, F, with S having the lowest energy and F having the highest energy. And finally, we look at the principal energy level, the number of sublevels, the number of electrons in each sublevel, and the number of electrons in each main energy level. So in N equals one, we have a one S sublevel, which can hold two electrons. This gives us a total of two electrons in the N equals one energy level. In N equals two, we have the two S and the two P sublevels. The two S sublevel can hold two electrons and the two P sublevel can hold six electrons. This gives us a maximum of eight electrons in the N equals two energy level. In N equals three, we have a 3S, a 3P, and a 3D sublevel. The 3S sublevel can hold two electrons, the 3P sublevel can hold six electrons, and the 3D sublevel can hold 10 electrons. So this gives us a maximum of 18 electrons in the N equals three energy level. And finally, we look at N equals four. In N equals four, we have a 4S, 4P, 4D, and 4F sublevel. The 4s sublevel can hold two electrons, the 4p, six, the 4d, 10, and the 4f, 14 electrons, which gives us a total of 32 electrons in the N equals four energy level.